All right, welcome back. It is still the Sport Buffet on your favorite online radio dial, like I always say, Elegbete TV Radio. I mean, my name is Imano Sebastian, like you said, and uh, good morning to everyone who's on the show today. I mean, what a way to start the show. It was, it's been a brilliant uh, past few days, you know, when you talk about Nigerian athletes and, you know, Toby Amundsen got the whole world talking, you know, when she broke that world record. I mean, it was such an amazing fit to see, you know, the emotions and, and everything, you know, in as much as a lot of a lot of things are happening in the country you know when you watch you know that video of her on the podium with the tears of you know tears of joy the emotions tears of joy the, you know the emotions uh, Nick, yeah. please <laughs> that's not tears of joy she's regretting yeah, Come on. Know, yeah I, I get what you're saying i get what you're saying but i mean you know the emotions like, why is this country uh, taking credit like, for what i did they didn't give me anything you know, I, I got a different feel of the national team at, at that point. Like, come on, this this we shouldn't be treating our athletes this way. And you know, it's just it's just sad to see. But I mean, it was it was really yeah. really pleasant for Toby Amuso. I mean, world record. Uh, you were talking about Michael Johnson earlier on. I mean, he felt us. He you know, felt us. Poor now, timing. You now you know you Nigerians. Exactly. You shouldn't be saying that. You know, that was that was such a poor timing to come out with such such comment. But I mean, congratulations to Toby Amuso. I mean, talking about Nigerians. You know, been been a wonderful past few days for Nigerians. I mean, not just just before to to be Amazon, we saw Aziza Oshola. You know, won the calf awards. Yeah, with fifth. beautiful outfits. You know, beautiful outfits. Uh, even though the I think was it the leg the brace, cast, she, yeah, the brace and the she leg. wore and her legs and all that. You know, for a record fifth time, and she got congratulated by uh, Perpetual Ukocha. You know, coming out to say I don't know whether mm-hmm. whether she voted for her when the votings were on, but I mean, who she, cares who votes? <laughs> she won. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't care who vote, man. I don't, I don't care about who vote. I won. <laughs> I won, exactly. That's just the thing. I don't I mean, care who vote. Hey, so all you <laughs> vote for me. Mm. Yeah, that's, that's, that's just it. That's just the bomb. I mean, for a record fifth time, it just shows, you know, she keeps on, you know, strengthening that legacy she has with Nigerian football. And from Asiza Oshola, uh, we saw the calf, the WAFCON final. There was also a Nigerian there, a Nigerian amongst the officials. Her name is Mimi Sen. I can't believe, I can't believe. She was appointed, she became the first Nigerian referee to officiate in an AFCON final. I mean, she's also one of the referees listed to officiate in the 2022 FIFA Women's World Cup. So, it's been a wonderful few days for Nigerians. How does this make you feel as a Nigerian this past few days, seeing all these records being broken by Nigerians? So, so when I see the achievements of these people, uh, two things happen. First off, I go back to the beating and the flogging and the many hits and talk about some of these athletes, especially Asisa Tushala. Yeah. You know, she's been hated upon. When she won the last uh, African Football of the Year, we had three Nigerians who voted, uh, Sasoba Bayouana, uh, Shisomu Bonu, and the Perpetual Uncocha, and they said they voted for uh, for current form and all that. They didn't vote for her, but yeah. she still won it. That was her fourth one. And then this one, uh, she won again. And, you know, people have already said that she was uh, a distraction to the team at the beginning. She's not putting her best. You know, people will say what they want to say anyway. But the most important thing is she won it. And for the kind of season that she had with Barcelona, great. Uh, For Toby, uh, special thanks to Larry, you know, my very good friend and uh, uh, partner. Larry came up with this idea about 15, 16 months ago that we should uh, put a spotlight on the women going to the Olympics. Okay, that includes Blessing Okagbari, Odumosu, Toby Amuson, Elionu, you know, and uh, one other lady now, I forgot to. And we did, but unfortunately, the Olympics wasn't good. But I remember very well that Larry was always saying that. Listen, these girls are heroes. These girls are superstars. We're not doing enough for them. Their numbers are not good on social media. They're not really getting the kind of traction that they are supposed to get. We need to make them B-board superstars. We need to put them at the very, very top. They should be uh, splashing their pictures on uh, Times Square in New York and all that. And for me, I was a little bit skeptical. Uh, and then, uh, these ones, are, uh, these are uh, my Yeah, they are good. I mean, my sister's there. This one is about, hey, I don't know about all these things. But, you know, Larry is a can-do kind of guy. Once he believes in something, he locks in and he wants to get it done. And, I mean, that's the best thing you can do with someone when you're with that. The energy flows through and then we yeah. got going. And, you know, we did the best that we can do. Spent money that we don't have. Going to U.S., putting the team together to go to U.S., cover them, cover them at the Yabatek. You know, this is the same Toby who ran in Yabatek and the machines they work <laughs> remember that the machine the, the clock was not working so this when i saw her cry on that podium i'm just thinking like she's saying to herself 
this might be a record that I've broken the Yabba Tech ball. Yeah. People, people, some people just deliberately put it off. Now, you know, what if this, this machine wasn't working and then I don't get this record and all that. Okay? So it's crazy, but bottom line is, I'm happy. Hello guys, I'm Dr. Jamal. I'm from Ethiopia. You are watching Electrate TV Radio. Please subscribe. Hello, Stop. my name is Dr. Nigam. I am from Pakistan. And you are watching Alibiti TV Radio. Please subscribe. Hi, my name is Abdullah Wali. I am from Pakistan, the number one country in the world in cricket. You are watching Legbete Sports Red TV Radio. Please subscribe. I'm happy. You want to see Nigerians succeed? It seems like yeah. it is time for women to be celebrated. There's my very own Alison in the Big Brother's house. And this I will talk yeah. to this why you bring him. I will see her. <laughs> Any, if I go to church, I'll talk about Big Brother Self. And I, right now, if anywhere I go, have you heard? Alison is in the Big Brother's house. Vote for her. There are two houses, but there's only one. One is on Balende, and then the main house is where Alison is. So, and then you have a sister, Oshuala. I love the girl because man, she went from FC Robo to play for all of the big clubs. If you have a male Nigerian footballer that I played for Liverpool, played for Arsenal, went to China, came back, played for Barcelona, win the Pinchichi, you know, we will talk about the person for the next 1,000 years. So I, sometimes when I see people try to talk down, uh, as I said, I was like, this, this girl has earned the right to even have like 10 bad seasons and we should still respect her. But hey, it is what it is. People have the right to, to spew whatever they want to spew and, and have their opinion. I also have the right to have my own opinion. So I still am. I'm very happy with the with the result of these people but it's a product of sheer hard work not uh deliberate planning uh policy driven uh, 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 uh capacity building coaching training of the right coaches to produce this one this is us you know when you play snooker and you have two shots free shot right yeah. you take free on the opposition ball to be able to put your ball you still have your two shots what we've done is actually take a free on what uh, the facilities that america have to offer their facilities that european uh, club side have to offer to amass these glories that we're getting it is about time we get out the reason why we have morocco and south africa in the finals of the afcon is because they've invested so much south africa have been to the finals five times this is their sixth six one times, uh, before they're winning it now yeah. okay so they've been to the finals five times and in the previous five times they've lost to nigeria but while they were losing they keep coming back they keep investing they keep developing infrastructure coaches and the rest this one is the result it doesn't mean that nigeria will not come back and take the 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 the, the african uh, african women cup of nation again but this is where we should go to not ministers that are fighting for federation federations that are confused people that are back fighting against each other you know that's not what we need right now we need policy driven a government that is driven by police to say okay look sports so it's uh i can always say until government sit down and say sports is a gdp grower we would always treat it the way we treat it they, I, I i keep saying this and people don't take it serious 98 percent of the budget for the national ministry of youth and sports 98 percent of their budget goes to nyc they already tell you that the government does not really have any plan does not really have any plan to invest in sports to so grow sports the program that they, they have is to you know grow their own business do their own thing and go without you know putting anything in sports so when when sports fail and people are getting angry i'm i always say to them what are you getting angry for did your country invest in this sports to get the result that you are expecting this is sense of entitlement nigeria nigeria is not even supposed to be qualified for any tournament based on the investment we're putting on nigeria is not supposed to qualify for any tournament now we're not supposed to win any championship we're supposed to get knocked out every time in the qualifiers based on our investment but unfortunately that doesn't happen we get to qualify and then people start expecting that we should go to finals expect coaches to work magic the whole of nigeria 200 million plus people counting 36 states of the federation we don't have a single stadium that is good enough to host consistently we don't have a stadium in nigeria that can host Hmm. Uh, let's not even talk I, about I, I just hope there will be a turning point soon with you know with the, this feat of uh, Toby Amis one because he got the no, whole. No, Toby Amis will, will not make anything to change. No, no don't I, said, I just hope that yeah, you know, you, because you, you talked you, about investment. You're by expecting. We, you know, we talk about investment. I mean, these things are just are just there for everyone to see. It's bare. You need to invest, in, you know, in these athletes. You could see the potential. You know, if you look at the story where they started, they've done so. Well. They've put in the work. They've put in the effort. I mean, look, just look. At, Toby almost got the whole sporting world talking. The, you know, when she broke that record, even Super Eagles manager Jose Pacero 
or, you know, put out a tweet that, you know, this is the ambition he likes to see from Nigerians, you know, congratulations the whole, you know, Team Nigeria and everything. So it was such a, you know, wonderful feat to be a Muslim and uh, Aziza Oshola, and not forgetting the, the referee as well, who of, uh, was part of the officials for the uh, WAFCON final. You are listening to Elegbete TV Radio.